everybody. I'm Joe. I'm Melissa. And together we are JM Photo Video. And we would like to welcome you to our podcast, Blue Hour, <laughs> which is a podcast where we talk about all things wedding photography, videography, and creative entrepreneurship. So this podcast is geared mainly toward couples looking for a wedding photographer, videographer, wedding vendors, um, anybody in the wedding realm. Um, Why do we call it Blue Hour? Well, we call it Blue Hour because the only time we can really record this is after our girls go to bed. And Blue Hour is the time right after sunset. So... There's sometimes in bed by sunset. There's sometimes in bed by sunset. But normally it's post Blue Hour. But, you know, Blue Hour it is. <laughs> Not actually Blue Hour. It's almost 10. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. So in this episode, we are going to talk about our beginnings as photographers, kind of the beginnings of our business. And um, just kind of introduce you all uh, to us. Yep. <laughs> because that is important. We feel like you should know know who you're talking to. Yeah. And our future clients and couples gets gives you guys a chance to know a little bit about our background before you meet us on your wedding day. Yep. And the goal of this is just to have a more long form place to do that. We make Instagram reels. We make all these things on the internet, but there's nothing else like this that we do. So right. We're, we're diving in. Yeah. Um, so the goal of the show is to support our clients and um, give some advice. Um, just be kind of a more modern voice in wedding planning and talk about wedding photography. And I'm going to give it to you because you had a really good point of something we hear all the time. Yeah. So oftentimes when you're planning a wedding, you've never planned a wedding before and you're getting advice from mom or grandma or aunt who plan who, love, who, you, who love you love very much and trust and trust and whose input is important. Yes. Whose input is very important on your wedding day. However, they may have gotten married in the eighties, nineties, early two thousands and weddings have changed a lot since the eighties, nineties and early two thousands. So it's, this we're hoping that this will be a place for you to get some advice when you're planning your wedding that you, you know, can take as you're planning. It's our responsibility. <laughs> we feel like to um, just kind of bring a voice to the industry and what we're seeing in the area and talk about it so that you, if you're finding this as a couple planning your wedding, have a uh, kind of more modern source for information. If you will. Yeah. So who are we specifically? Who's J&M Photo Video? We are a husband and wife team. We uh, started our business about three years ago. I think mm -hmm. we just had our third birthday. We did. Like Last, our business is This past birthday. week. Yeah. So in 2020. Uh, but we're based in the Hagerstown area. We serve the entire like DC metro area. And we're primarily, like we said, uh, wedding photographers, portrait photographers, family and lifestyle photographers. Yep. We do uh, video work as well. Yep. And we offer photography, videography, and then more recently this year, we added film photography to our weddings um, as an add-on for our wedding packages. So, Joe, tell us a little bit about how you got started in photography. So, I started photography and videography um, a long time ago, more than a decade ago, more than half my life ago, actually. Because we're old. Because we're getting old. <laughs> Um, but we're not I, that old. We're only 31. Something like that. <laughs> um, but I started in video, actually. Uh, my best friend, who is still a really close friend of mine, uh, suggested that I do this video internship with him and his uncle uh, back in high school. And I just fell in love with cameras. It was, it was my new thing. Um, paths kind of weaved a little bit. Um, and I went into audio recording, um, which is very similar in kind of technique and workflow and everything else to video. And I did a lot of video work on the side um, while I was learning mm -hmm. audio and all of the concepts that translated um, just made a lot of sense for me to continue doing video. So picked up photography along the way, started doing paid work a couple years ago, um, got into weddings through, would you call it a mentorship? I don't think it was an official a mentorship. A masterclass. I, I don't know. I would call it more of a masterclass, a wedding workshop, if okay. you will. There, there you go. <laughs> where um, another close friend of mine um, kind of pulled me into the into the wedding scene. So um, it's been a lot of fun and I love doing it. Mm -hmm. I spent half my life doing it at this point. Yeah. So uh, why don't we turn it over to you? 
Okay, so I have not been in photography as long as Joe, not half my life. But I really took an interest in photography um, while we were dating. And then again, when we had our first daughter capturing her first year of life. And so pr- almost her whole life, we've run, run this business. Pretty much. Um, and I just love being part of people's wedding days. And it's just a great uh, opportunity to be able to capture those moments for people. But a little bit of my background before I was a wedding photographer, I was a teacher. So a lot of our organizational stuff for our business, uh, I kind of take a hand in. I run our calendar. I send the invoices. I schedule our lives pretty much. All that's not my jam. (laughs) Not me. (laughs) Um, And I do most of our photo editing at this point. Joe is our video editor and then I edit most of the photos. So. Good synopsis. <laughs> why don't we talk about our passion and why we do this? You're kind of touching on it, but a big part of it is um, capturing memories that are meaningful to people mm-hmm. um, and being there and, and taking the responsibility of capturing someone's wedding day. It's a big deal to us. Um, and they're things that last a lifetime. Yeah. You know, I don't know of any other job you have where you affect no. somebody's like core memories. No. And in your wedding photos, you'll look at for years to come. Um, Even if they're stored on a hard drive, you'll find them on that hard drive someday. And you'll be like, oh, look at our wedding photos. I still have our our catalog or our collection pulled up on my phone. It's a tab in my phone. Yeah. I mean, we've been married for, what, seven years now? And I mean, we still go back and look at our wedding photos. And um. Your wedding photos are something that you can never get back to. So picking the right photographer, videographer, someone you're going to spend your entire wedding day with, you want to be able to trust that person and know that they're going to do the best possible job they can um, to capture those memories for you and to create that story in every frame. Exactly. And we feel like it's our responsibility to uh, represent photography at the highest level for our clients. Just every piece of their photography experience is important to us. It might be the only time you run into a Mm -hmm. professional photographer is on your wedding. Hopefully not. I mean, hopefully you hire a professional photographer to take those big moments for you. We like to do lots of other kinds of photography too and and see the value in documenting other Mm -hmm. parts of your life. But if that is one of the only times you hire a professional, we want it to be the best experience ever. From from the very first email you get from, you know, your your call, because we always have a call with our couples before we we book. We're not going to just cold book you without talking to you. Right. Um, we want all of those touch points to be the best possible experience for our clients. So. We have notes because <laughs> we felt like we needed notes and now we are through the notes. Yeah. So I guess we should probably wrap it up, right? Yeah. So um, this is just the, here is who we are. Very loosely collected. Very loosely. Who we are. Uh, introductory <laughs> podcast. Uh, we hope that you'll return for other episodes mm-hmm. and um, come back and visit us. We're going to try to make this as consistent as possible. Yeah. And I think that's the only thing I'm willing to promise here and now is as consistent as possible. Yeah. There are definitely going to be times of the year when we could put out episodes more regularly, but we are at the tail end of our busy season right now. So. I won't say photographers ever have a off season. Yeah, we don't really ever have an off season. There's, there's always, always something, something going on. Going on. Um, so yeah. But we do have a slower season. Yeah, we have a slow season. And we do have winter. Winter is so, generally slow. Yeah. We're uh, in fall right now, so. So we're in a good place to try to make this as consistent as possible while we get it started. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, We hope that you'll stay tuned. We have uh, a whole lot of cool things planned, both for this podcast and for our business in general. Yes. That's some cool things up our sleeve that we haven't shared quite yet. Um, I guess we'll share some of them once this podcast happens, right? I mean, this podcast is going to have some of those things on it. This is true. This is true. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Uh, We'll be back with more episodes and Mm -hmm. we will catch you on the next one. Bye.